Hey y'all, welcome to Everything New Under the Sun. I am here in North Rustico. I did a video here a while back already. And uh, we'll hopefully you can hear, there's not too much wind today. But the kids are walking on the rocks. See, and this is it. See the panorama of the ocean. Oh yeah. And all the rocks. That's where we are. North Rustico Harbor. Just enjoying the day. It is 20 degrees, I think. And uh, we're just hanging out. I uh, actually uh, have uh, ordered an external microphone for this thing because I don't know how the wind affects it. I know the wind causes lots of troubles with the with the mic on this thing. So hopefully uh, this won't be too bad. But uh, once I get the mic, it should be a lot better. So yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. I can, uh, I'll show you. It's part of the uh, the route behind the uh, the water break where the fishing boats come in, and uh, this is the pier, an old pier, an old water break that uh, boats actually you can see a couple fishing boats coming in now. These guys are probably yeah. at fishing. I know they do fishing tours as well, uh, deep sea fishing and other chartered things. But these guys look like they are just plain old fishing. I guess these are uh, lobster fishermen. Don't know to be honest. No fisherman expert, but. Uh, couple of guys come in, probably coming in for lunch. It's probably the end of the morning. Morning thing. Yeah, they're processing lobster. I can see them. I can see them on the back of the boat processing lobster there. Daddy, both waved to me. He waved to you? All right, let's look at the beach. It's a beautiful day today. We're going to uh, go to the end of the pier. In the distance, right there, is the lighthouse. It is still in use. You probably can't see it, but the light is turning on. Maybe one day I'll get a fancy uh, zoom camera. Now over here, it's really shallow. This is a this is a route where the fish uh, where the boats go because it's all dredged. But uh, just up here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's lighter brown up here. It's all sandbar under there. You can go over there and walk there because it's only about a meter of water there. Daddy, can I go down there to check out the water? Not right now. Yeah. Okay. I 
dancing. I'm doing. Jack? Yep, Jack. Oh, down a big mountain? Big jump, why don't you come over here and jump over here? Okay. Jackie, don't jump there. Alright, here again from the rusty ruins of the of the dock. We're at the very end of it. See the dock behind me. Hopefully the wind doesn't interfere, but you can see the rusty, rusty dock. Feels like I could actually point the camera at it instead of myself. Oh. The big old rusty piers. This is one of the ladders. Safety ladders. It's been bumped into a few times by something, maybe ice. And you can see it all pitted from the salt water. It's thick thick metal. Would have cost a lot of money to put this stuff in. The end of this uh, pier or dock isn't uh, used anymore obviously. It used to have asphalt. You can see asphalt up here. This whole area used to be covered by asphalt and at one time you could drive your uh, car out here. But not anymore. All the, uh, you can see the wood here. This used to go all along the upper upper edge of the metal here. And that's all falling down. I'm trying to shield the camera from the from the wind noise. Hold you out here and you can see, you can see the outside of that. It's quite a quite a dock. This kind of thing I guess will eventually sink into the ocean. I mean, this the sand here is lowering and lowering. It's all subsiding. It used to be right up to the top of the metal. That's where the asphalt was. And I guess the ocean is slowly pulling the sand out from underneath it. And uh, this eventually will go back to the sea, I guess. And I guess maybe at some point they would actually uh, decide to come and backfill it. Because this is a, a, I think, an important breakwater for the fishing boats. You see a fishing boat going by there. I don't know if you can actually. Fishing boat. Now you probably can't see. There's a whole bunch of. There's a couple buoys there, red and the green one. There's a whole bunch of seagulls out there. 
because a fisherman drops scraps of lobster or fish or whatever out there and the seagulls scavenge all that. I've done deep sea fishing here, it's pretty fun. You go for uh, mackerel, and mackerel is the bait fish for cod. And uh, we don't, I uh, ha haven't really caught a lot of cod. As everybody knows, the cod fishery is pretty bad. It's been fished out well. I can actually see the uh, floor of the ocean here, underneath the water. It's probably, I don't know, 10 feet or something there. 